Good morning, gentlemen. How's everybody? Where are you? I'm in bed. <coughs> We're the first ones here. Uh, we actually beat the production and studio team here. How did that happen? Oh, I, I set my alarm way too early. We're like, it's still breakfast time. I, I haven't even eaten yet. Good point. I'm about to pour some Reese's Puff cereal. Okay, Wealthy, you know, uh, Reese's is the best cereal for some full-size runs, so I think it'll help me do the interview. Oh, this is what you guys do to get ready? Yeah. Reese's Puff cereal, baby. I'm gonna join the gang. It's great. That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. James Trinidad James, and we got the amazing Brick Squad Mafia 1017 alumni, Atlanta, New York's greatest amazing Waka Flocka. Goddamn flame. What's up, brother? Man, what's up with y'all, man? What's going down? Walker, exactly. how you feeling? You know what I'm feeling like? I'm feeling like Reggie Miller right oh. now. Let's go. Okay. Walker, we are so happy to have you here. This is our season finale. It's a big moment for all of us. Go, baby. We can't wait to talk about your sneaker history. The first thing we want to talk about, though, the shoes everyone has on feet so wealthy. What are you wearing? Got something special for the finale. Comes in this big oh. box. Uh. Got the Overkill. Got the Overkill X Adidas ZX8500. They also come with a booty on it for graffiti writers in, ca in case. In case Walker, how they... do you feel about that? Hold on, hold on. They come with a boot on it for graffiti writers in case they go too hard in the paint. So, hey. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Well, damn, I just got burks. Ah, I couldn't do it any better than you, Wellesley. But uh, shout out to the great, amazing uh, James Whitner, the Ama Manier group. Um, social status. Um, it's the season finale. You know, I, I try my best to go hard for Black Home brands when i can so when i see my brother james doing his thing i had to wear the jordan threes thank you to the fam you know i had to pair with the dad socks hey man black support black owned brands man walker what do you got on feet today burks that's how you feel yeah you got the burks and the basketball kit how does that work this is the white burks <laughs> are, are we hooping in burks of course <laughs> no, I, I, you know, this today was that day, man, in the office. It was finale for me as well. You know, I, I just yes. did a big joint venture with my trucking company and another company. I signed a major uh, staffing agency contract where I could give over 300 jobs to people in Atlanta. Call Next Step Staff. I'm going to send you my resume. Amazing. Congrats, bro. Waka, what, what's your most regrettable sneaker purchase of all time? The Patrick Ewan's. Why? Because Patrick Ewan hurt me as a kid. I still love Patrick Ewan. Sorry. As a Knicks fan, yeah. When he did that dumb finger roll, man, and missed that motherfucking finger roll, that shit crushed uh, me. And I literally was a kid rocking PUs in New York. We yeah. call them PUs. Wow, you know how it's coming up. That's the most yeah, regrettable Pepe. shoe. The number two regrettable shoe is the shoe my mother or my grandmother got me. And I wanted to go to school with the, uh, with the Shell Toe Adidas, and they came back yeah, with yeah. four stripes. Yeah, you used to rock four stripe Adidas, now you got three, right? Yeah. Fresh and fly. Yeah. Let's go. Listen, guys, I got Adidas on. This is the Spezial Wensley. I'm taking the Adidas influence from Wealthy here. He taught me a few things, so that's how I'm feeling on this finale. All right, New guys, bags. let's talk sneaker news. The first piece of sneaker news we want to discuss is the Adidas 420 sneaker release. This is a South Park collab with Towley on the tongue, Terry Cloth, very soft. Oh, they fire. I think this is a cool shoe. I'm surprised at how viral it went. Um, you won't see me smoking big doinks in these, but. Well, I gotta go get those. I, I love this shoe, please. Walker, Size 11. Have anybody. you paid attention to all these weed sneakers? Do you know? Do you know about this long history? Skunk dunks and things like that. Oh no, nah, my boy keep me up on these and Max. My day that he get a pair. Of course, that's that summertime vibe right here. The eyes turn color once it hits the sun, so it gets yeah. red. Get a wrist Cheddar outfit with that wrist. Oh, I know you're talking about what type? That guy, yeah, the, the guy. Who? The, the black is a black owned designer. Uh, I, I forgot he's called Rich Rich Fresh. Rich Cheddar, like, yeah. Cheddar, yeah. I don't want to. Not Rich the Kid. Trinidad. This brother's brand is really really dope. Trust me, yeah. we'll figure it out. We'll get it right. We'll put it in the um in the comments. I love that shoe is. Fire. That shit was fire. That shit was fire, bro. That shit was fire. Damn. I'm not going to lie. That shit. Are we doing big doinks with these? Big Amish doinks. <laughs> <laughs> 
Next bit of sneaker news, the US Postal Service is considering suing Nike over these Air Force Ones that they said ripped off their logo on the back. They haven't filed the paperwork yet. I assume that they don't have the right forms or a pen that they can find to submit it. Um, <laughs> wow. What do, we, what do we think about the Postal Service? Not the band, right? No, no. <laughs> what do they rip off? It has like the Postal Service logo on the back, you know, where you, you fill back? it up. Nike put it on the shoe. And That's the Postal fine. Service maybe wants to sue Nike. How do you feel about that? That's corny. They should just take, make some money off the shoe. I wish I could support the USPS more. Shout out to my guy, Derek, who brings the packages through. I can't tell you what kind of packages we're talking about, but shout out to him. You might be delivering <laughs> packages. <laughs> hey, hey, I ain't gonna tell you, I ain't gonna talk about the packages I was delivering. Packages on the block! <laughs> Man, these, this shoe is also from the family of that pink Air Force One, probably like about three, four episodes ago. And I didn't get those alien pink Air Force shoe. Ones. Yeah, oh, <laughs> the alien cum shoe. And despite the fact that it looks like it's covered in alien semen, I'm still down with this. I didn't get those still. So if anybody has the alien cum shoe or the new postal cum shoe that's coming out soon, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, sell it to me, please. Ten and a half for dad. My brother. So check me out. You know, we know you for so many different, you know, as an entrepreneur, you impress us every year with different ventures that you do. I want to talk about your shoes now. And you being a New York native, where did shoes start for you? What's your earliest sneaker memory? We call them Uptowns. Uh, let me get let me get from under my dress. I gotta let these white ones like these. Are what we call Uptowns. <laughs> Air back Force. To back. You had them ready to go. Back to yeah, back. yeah. Under the dress. I leave them in the office. Those Air Force Ones, basically. Like we use mid tops, high tops, like the Rasheed Wallaces. Those yeah. are my number one shoes ever. It started with these right here, man. The all whites and it was leather. See, these is different. Different. Di di different. They never used to really crinkle in the front. That might go to shoes. Those some Cortezes or some. How many pairs of Air Force Ones do you think you've had over the years? Well over a thousand. No, a thousand for probably like five years straight. And I'm getting my crowd. I bought a brand new pair of Air Force Ones every day. Now, do you, did you ever consider yourself a sneaker collector? No, nah, because I always get rid of them. people. Always yeah. take them. My little cousins that come, they're like, "Oh no, you rich? Why are you? Why are you getting mad?" Like somebody took my uh my human race, it's like all of them. Like the Chanel's, the greens, these are like, oh I thought you said I could have these. I'm like, damn, that's fifteen, that's fifteen thousand. All right, cool. You, you're cool with it? You're not chasing them down for the sneakers? Just don't invite them over no more. You may not be a collector, but you know people at the sneaker brands. I know you met like Nike's VP of North America. Oh, I never said I wasn't a collector. Did you ever consider yourself a sneaker collector? Nah. I'm just okay. I'm so terrible at names. But people gotcha. go in my closet, like anybody you know that know me, they guarantee me, like, yo, walk up, like, fucking 600 pairs of shoes. I have everything. <laughs> At any given time. I still have all the phones from the spaceships. I have all, like, the Elmo shoes, the Cookie Monster shoes. Elmo? Oh, hell yeah. Adidas and the Elmos is fire. I want to ask about that time you met the Nike VP back in 2012. Was that a big moment for you? Elliot Hill was his name, I think? How the hell do you know that? <laughs> Homer. Yo, of course, I still got that plug. Are they are they setting you up regularly? Free sneakers all the time? I ain't never say that. <laughs> I ain't yeah. never say that. I just, VP I just in North America, PO, no Anna Bear. My P.O. box is boom. Okay, USPS. Full circle on that one. Yeah, I got two P.O. boxes. You gotta get one for the independent and one for like the mainstream people. Walk a to totally random story. It was my first uh, the stories again. Month of working at Complex in 2013, and you came to the office oh, and you, sh and you shot a video with Complex where you were carving a turkey. And I was in the kitchen getting a cup of coffee, and you walked up to me, and you were wearing a polar bear sweater and a pair of Gamma Jordan 11s. And I looked down at your shoes, and you just say to me, "Why is everyone telling me I look like a big ass polar bear in the office?" And I didn't, I didn't know what to say. But I was just so surprised that you had gotten these Gamma 11 Jordans so early at the time because they were coming out at Christmas that year how did you get your shoes early oh um, man oh you know i originally was born in queens in new york so yeah. i'll go straight to the coliseum and i'll go straight to gb's and why gb's and why i was know? gb's the place everybody gets their sneakers at gb's, Bro, what, GB's what, what kind of special no, sauce does gb's have you, man i ain't gonna Bro, talk we about grew that. up there that's the Kali block. That's on the Kali block uh the coliseum got the best pizza in the world too over there but that's another story gb's Ooh, is really? it though oh yeah they, oh, they were yeah. they were hooking you up with they the shoes there. before they came out of course we lost you on the video. No, y'all didn't. They, of course they was. 
<laughs> that's family though. So that's different. It's it's bigger than like, hey, why the fuck are coming to the store? What does GB stand for? Man, I pull up. That's what it stands for. <laughs> pull up. Go to GB's, bro. Go to GB's. Get you right. Go. It's right there on the corner. I'm going. Miss. Almost all the all our dopest episodes, the ones that you love, all those guys, GB guys. Come on, let's come on, Brendan. GB, GB, GB date I'm going. soon. GB, GB date soon. Y. There it is. So, Waka, um, I think it's safe to say that you're one of the hardest performers as far as the energy. Are you? Were you ever worried about? Like performing in some sneakers that you mess up, or are you only performing sneakers that you don't care about messing up? You know, did some college shit or some crazy. <laughs> Tell me, talk to me. Shoes, Bro. shoes turn out like brown at the end of the night. Let's go. Bro, Come on. what's them red Yeezys? Red Octobers. Red Octobers. Twos. Bro, twos. My right hand, I performed in them. You know how when you perform, you get almost like black shit all over your shoe. Yeah. Why did I throw the shoes in, in the crowd? Like, I'm gonna buy a new pair. See the shit on the internet for like thousands of dollars. I'm like, what the fuck? Did I just do that? Another <laughs> one, the Come LeBrons, on. the South Beaches, all like the LeBron ever from like the South Beach looking shoes yeah, to the ones the that crazy color of the Sprite can. Yeah, all yeah. Of them. Mm -hmm. That's who, Steve Aoki, I blame him and Borgo. I used to be- You just, just threw them out? Man, in the raves, man. You know how you yeah. leave the rave with those no shoes, man. Of course. Oh, it's the only, only, only way to leave a rave is with no shoes. No oh, shoes, God. yeah, it's crazy. Oh, God. That rave yeah. era, I, I, I literally, them, I know I done blew six numbers on shoes. Just like giving them away. I know there was one time, too, Walker, where you got a champagne glass shoved through the sole of your Air Force One. Yeah. Yeah. Did you bleed? Whatever. I had to pull it out of my foot. <laughs> no. Oh. It, it punctured your foot? Yeah, of course. You got to sue. This one, I ain't want to sue. You know why? I, I'm, I'll, I'll go to court. I'll testify. I did a show for all the new up and coming bankers. The you bankers? Know? Yeah, it was a show for like nothing but up and coming new investment bankers and all the uh, top firms. So it was like a broken cork on the floor. So when I jumped off stage, I jumped right on top of the broken cork. <laughs> so it went right through my foot. And then, you know, Hard in the Paint was playing. So I just performed with the foot bleeding. And then when I was done, paint. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I left a shoe on that one. Yeah, I definitely left with some good plugs. So that's what, that's like. Yeah, I was about to say you okay. messed up people. I left with some plugs. I'm good. Why sue though, man? That's corny. If, if you need to, I'll be there for you. That's road shit, man. <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Waka, I know you were on your vegan shit for a little bit there. You posed for PETA. I was on my conscious moment. eating. They okay. nominated it vegan. I heard a vegan like you. I heard feel the vegan. same way. I woke up. I was a fucking vegan. I'm like, yo, I just ate fucking cherry. I mean, shrimp. I I fuck up a vegan. They, they did the same thing to me. They did the same thing to me. So I'm right there with but you. The but the shrimp was soy. So, yeah. <laughs> that sounds awful. Uh, that sounds awful, that awful time, Walker. Did you change disgusting. your sneaker habits? Were you like, oh, I'm not wearing sneakers Bro. with animal products or? Bro, they had they, they had me wearing hemp shoes. Really. I wasn't, I was, yeah, man, like it was crazy. Big doinks on the feet? Amish ones. <laughs> nah, negative. I, I ain't never changed my footwork, I'm gonna be honest. I, I definitely slowed down on it. I started, I started finding out how much animal product um, was used to make these materials and how much we, we, we were taking it for granted. So what I wanted to do, why I started eating conscious because everybody was so big around us, like being artists and these young rich kids, how are you gonna invest? I'm like, fuck that, how y'all gonna invest in my health? I'm not trying to die yeah. of cancer. We like puffing Magic Dragon, we hipsters. You know, we gangster nerd hipsters. Right. So one day I was smoking, I'm just like, yo, what happens in my body when I pass gas? Like oh. what organs say, hey y'all, let's release some steam. I'm dead serious, like something that stupid. Right. Once I start eating uh, live food, I just start feeling better. Walker, you mentioned uh, briefly before about performing at like random shows that most artists wouldn't perform at. We saw that you performed at like Soul Exchange and Sneaker Pimps back yeah. in the day, the the sneaker uh, expos. What was that like? Were you getting hooked up with shoes when you went to these places? What? Guess what that was like. Before the shoes touch the surface, I get to find out who got what. Man, I'm the money I got paid, I ended up buying shoes and doubled it. Instead of leaving with no shoes, you got to go there with no shoes and be oh, like, yeah. somebody's got to put something on my feet. Yeah, they don't give you free shoes at those events, by the way. They don't. You know how you think you'll pull an artist stunt? Yeah. Not happening. Yeah, they I might, try. That might I take a hundred dollars off, but nah. What, what stuff were you copying at those events? Do you remember? I'm actually doubling up with stuff I already had. Because for some odd reason, some odd reason, some odd reason, some odd reason.
Braves. That rave era? Jumped off stage. Like, Braves. It was like shoes. I'm just getting damaged faster than that. What is the shoe that you, over the years, realized outside of that white Air Force One that, like, damn, I bought a lot of this shoe, this particular shoe? Timberlands, man. Okay, okay. But Jordans, really. Jordan. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I got the, like the breads in the threes. I'm talking about I got like triple pairs. I'm like, damn, I didn't even know I had 33 this. 33 threes. Definitely them Jordans, man. Them Jordans is, it's, it's it is out of control. It got to the point where you start wanting to get the want to get the soccer mom colors. You know what I mean? Like the, <laughs> right, like the right. other style Jordans. You like, right, 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 with right. the shorts. Life, lifestyle. Right, right, right. You know, lifestyle Jordan. Do you feel that Nike is charging too much for sneakers given the quality that it is now compared to what it was? Like you spoke of Air Force Ones earlier, like they used to not crinkle. Now they do crinkle. Is that an issue issue for you or is it just something you realize because you've bought so much product over the last decade? That's just some stuff I realized. But they'll come back out with, with the old product, but then they'll name it like Stussy. Stussy Air Force Ones. See, ah, okay, those okay, like that? okay. No, those no, 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 fire. he's saying you know that the, the quality oh, okay. on the Stussy is the quality that used to be on just a generic white. Right. Exactly, because back the then, vibe. those Air Force Ones, you could clean them and put the white polish. Them things mm -hmm. look back crisp. Nowadays, you can't do that to these. Um, it's done, one and little, done, tossed. I, I got a trick though. I Tell know me. a way oh. how your Air Force Ones don't crinkle fast. Tell us, tell us. You, you know the shopping oh, bag that you get from like Kroger's, like food shopping bag? Yeah. yeah. Get okay. four of those. Four. Hold them up. Put them in your shoe so it lays on top of your go. shoe in between the sneaker, on top of your foot in between the sneaker. Okay, like on top, on the top. And it's so thin that you won't even notice it's in it. I guarantee you. Are you, doing, are you doing that regularly? Of course. I learned, I, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got that from one of my best friends, R.I.P. Slim Duncan. Dunk showed me that. Oh, and Dunk, Dunk, that's amazing. Me and Dunk used to always like buy the same. I'm like, how the hell do your shoes don't creep? One yeah. day, he, he didn't even show us. Like, we I, we actually pulled his shoe off. I'm like, bro, what the hell? You got plastic bags in your shoe. <laughs> you never put like the force fields in them, Waka? You never saw those things before? Oh, no, nah, them shit. Sneaker stores? Them shit's hurt. I got, I got bunions of fat feet. And my toes look like this. So. The plastic yeah. bag is the hood. <laughs> toes throwing up gang signs. Things, bro. The, the plastic bag is the hood insoles. No, somebody just capitalized on something we created it together. You know? Fact. <laughs> so. Fact. Waka, what size are you? Eleven. Yeah, you said as part of your presidential platform that people with size 13 or higher shouldn't be allowed to walk around with shoes on. What do you have against people with size 13 sneakers? Wow. I'd rather keep that to myself, man. Okay. I got bad memory <laughs> with people with big feet, man. What happened? I don't know. I just don't be getting along with people with big feet. So, yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> the little. Suit. By the way, Waka. So you wear size fourteen? Me? No, 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 no. I'm a small guy. So my brother Waka, before we move forward, I must ask, what do you have going on currently right now, man? Currently, right now, I got a lot of like emails from fans saying, "Hey." Drop mute, drop uh, music videos for old classics before you put your new music out. And um, I created a, a NFT marketplace. Oh. NFT stands for non fungible tokens. And we created, and the name of our marketplace is called Satoshi.art. Oh, we created it by okay. the artist for the artist. This is where we just want the artist to be an artist and get and catch the benefits of being an artist. So can I go on there and make an NFT or what? Yes, you could turn you you could turn a, a photo that you did and digitalize it and create your token. Yeah. All right, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. But as long as you can guarantee, I need like sixty thousand minimum when I sell that thing. Nothing in the world is guaranteed. So hold it down. <laughs> we'll work on it. Amazing. Every single week here on the show, we punish someone in the worst take section for something terrible they did or said last week. As decided by the YouTube commenters, we make them switch out their shoes for something awful. This week, it is me for the Mazia thing with Joel Santana. Joel, when is the uh, Kith Mazia collaboration coming? Kith Mazia? We didn't forget about Mazia, man. Well, nah, what's, what's Mazia? Your clothing I, I, line. Which one is Mazia? From 2006? I forgot, yeah, man, I'm boss. People want to punish me for doing my research because Joel's couldn't remember it. That's, I'm never going to apologize for that. Anyways. I have to put on these awful sneakers they ordered from Amazon. I don't even know what these look like yet. Kids, if you want to be a journalist, these are the type of things that you got to deal with. What are those? Brendan, let's see them. Oh, I'll pull it out. There he is. Don't worry about that. What are those? This is the... The Adidas? It says... Oh, God. It says, uh... Damn yawn. The fake Adidas, bro. Now, they kind of hard, though. Yeah, I'll send them your way after I put in a couple miles. I ain't gonna lie. 
Waka, were you touring all over the world? Did you ever, like, pick up sneakers in, like, all the crazy locations that you went to? Did you ever find, like, random stuff? Bro, every time. Because certain states don't like what we like. And I stay like, what? Y'all still got these? <laughs> Give me all that. <laughs> Give me all that shit. Yes, sir. We were, we were about all over resell them. You know, I've been, I've been loving shoes since, like, I call them in school. Wait. I, okay, I, wow. I was, a buying, I was buying shoes off eBay. Wait, like, trust so me. you... So you've so you've resold sneakers? What hell yeah? We're well, swapping shoes in high school. Of course. Why not? I sold Pokemon cards. I mean my first thousand dollars selling Pokemon <sighs> cards. Which cards? All right. What you tell me which card did the graphics, the right shoe, Charizard, <laughs> Blastoise. Look, what's that go on? Think about this, right? I was living in okay. Atlanta. I was living in Georgia. Well, I was living in Swats and in Atlanta. Pokemon cards is popping in middle school. But People in Georgia was ain't have what we had in New York, Chinatown. So I go to Chinatown and get the, you know, the cool Pokemon cards for a dollar, the holographics. Mm. I take those holographics and trade people for their holographics. Pays me a thousand dollars. I love that. I, I got a B drill off a guy in third grade and he still hasn't forgiven me for the trade. So I was I was right there with you, Walker. <laughs> but my cards was fake. Cards oh, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of fake, buying shoes off. Did you ever get some fake shoes on there? Because they had some fake shoes. Those on. ain't fake. They customized. I loved them. I was getting my Superman <laughs> see through Jordans. <laughs> you had some see through yeah. Jordans. Bro, you talk to a man that rocks the green sevens, see through Jordans with the yellow socks, with the yellow socks like these. You like couldn't tell socks. him nothing. You couldn't with, tell with him the nothing. Supersonic jersey with the supersonic jersey. Sean oh Kim. my God. But but when you sweat, no it get it get foggy. It get real oh, foggy in the Incredible, <laughs> incredible. Especially in the club. <laughs> Keep your toes cool. <laughs> so, Waka, my brother, we also do a segment on this show called Drip, Flip, or Skip. Drip meaning that it looks good. Flip meaning that you resell it. Skip meaning that you don't fuck with it at all. First shoe and Drip, Flip, or Skip is going to be the Nike LeBron 8 Hardwood Classic. And I must ask you, my brother, is this a Drip? I'm dripping. Is this I'm a dripping. Flip? Okay. Out That's my gate. favorite style LeBron. <laughs> the eight, ever. right? Those, those, yeah. those killed the city. Ever. Those killed the city. I think this is this is a flip for me. Um, there seems to be a little bit of money on those. So if I can get a pair, I'm going to flip those. I'm going to call it a drip. I, I also love this era of LeBrons. I feel like they would look a little weird on my feet, but I still might have to bring them out with some cargo shorts or something like that. Thanks. Go, going hard in the paint. Going hardwood. Going hard in the hardwood classic. Uh, you know, it's in there somewhere. I'm putting me a John Starks jersey on a Bernard King jersey. John no, Starks. Okay. That's a good one. I mean, this is a drip for me. I definitely want to hoop in these this summer. Um, the weather is really good in New York, where I happen to be at right now. So somebody signed me up for a size 11 in these, or 11 and a half, because actually LeBron's run a little narrow. Moving forward, we have the Nike Air Griffey Max 1 Jackie Robinson Edition. Oh, my God, bro. He's killed the city. Come on, right? What? I had no idea. Bro, he I didn't, had no idea he didn't believe me, bro. He didn't believe me, bro. What? He didn't believe me. Bro, they were killing these in the city, bro. The blue and the green, the oh, black and green. Bro, bro, this was it, bro. This was Oh, it. my God. Don't put the jersey on with the long bro, sleeve. Oh, bro. bro, you was, bro, we was drinking before Drake, bro. We was bro. killing it, bro. I'm so oh, crazy. my God. This shoe was this shoe was it, bro. For this one on one. This was a Jordan level shoe in Atlanta at a period of I'm time. I'm not going to lie. This was a classic. Classic, bro. Classic, like the A on my hat, straight up, no cap. No okay. cap. <laughs> so this is a special edition one that they're doing. Ken Griffey is paying a tribute to Jackie Robinson. You know, Ken Ken was 24, Jackie 42. It's a drip and a flip. I'm buying two flips. There it is. Bang, Brenda Dunn. Now that you're coaching. Um, <laughs> now, that I, now that I understand, <laughs> listen, I don't know anything about baseball, but I can still respect this sneaker, especially the 42 to the 24 flip on the strap. I love it. It's a drip. Yeah, this is a this is a big trip. I know I joked around about wearing True Religion jeans with the with the Griffies. That was the whole era, but you know, yo, a, that, yo. That, that was the era, right? True Religion the Griffies. Oh, don't have a True Religion hat on. Oh, bro, you killed them. You doing the denim jacket with it too, Waka? Woo! What? Don't play with him. That's, don't play that's with it. him. That's um, don't um, not play with him. him. Yeah, this is this is a big drip. That was an error. It was an error. Yeah, bro. it was an error. Oh, it's definitely a drip, baby. It's a Reese's drip for me. Oh, oh, Reese's drip for sure. I got my cereal right here. 
That's a big Reese's, Reese's drip. Pop, baby. Let's do it. You know I have to bring the Reese's Puffs out. Reese's drip, baby. Big, big Reese's drip. All right, I moving love forward. Reese's. They're my favorite cereal. Amazing. Moving forward in shoes. We have the Nike Air Hirachi Escape Edition. Uh, Brendan Dunn, I know that you can't, you got a wood in your pants right now, so I must ask you first. Trip, let How me did see. you know? It's in your nose. <laughs> Listen, I've wanted to own this colorway for a long time. This is a drip. I love these escapes. You might see me kicking it, you know? Kick off your feet and relax your feet. Uh, Escape? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. I want to Bart Simpson choke you sometimes because I love you. It's all good. I kiss you for it after I'm joking you. Well, T. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate this that. Is, it's a drip. I agree with Brendan's shoe. I wanted for a long time. Thing I like about it too, it's a booty shoe, so you can put your foot in it with no with no hands. Yep. Woo! Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's no, Walker, to... didn't when you had when you had Wale on that song, was he putting you on his sneakers at all? So obviously man, he's like the biggest no, that's, that's, what, that's one reason I couldn't stand you, Wale. I hope you see this. He ain't give me no damn shoes. Man, I see Wale I'm like, who's giving you this? Might have been Elliot Hill. And Trinidad. <laughs> He got all the drill too. Oh, I got the Wait, you guys? I got versus Wale shoe closet. That's one for the books. You you guys weren't competitive when you guys were like doing shows together back in the day, Trinidad. You and you and Waka trying to Hell one up no. each other on the sneakers. No, what? what nah, you man, you got it's a got trade. It. It's a fair trade. He got it. He what got I love. It. <laughs> he got He's it. trying to be humble. <laughs> so my brother Waka, we also do outfits on this segment. And there's no better oh. outfits to do in the entire world than Waka Flocka flame outfits. Outfit number one. Oh, that was just rave. I didn't care what I Back in those days, I just put pants, t-shirts. It's a rave. Nice sneakers. Let's go. Save so much money in that era. Oh my God. A million <laughs> dollars, millions of dollars. Do you remember what city this was in? What what college or what, what rave? The Yonkey Fine Tour. Ah, okay, okay. I gotta ask you, brother, is this is a drip, is this a flip, is this a skip? This is a skip. Okay. Uh, Brenda Dunn? <laughs> yeah, I'm not a huge Spizike fan, and you can't spell Spizike without skip. Okay. Oh my god, you're a sick person, bro. I almost want to drip it just because I respect you not giving a fuck what you're gonna wear because you're gonna go so crazy at the party. Yeah, I can't, I was... do, so I can't do Spizike, so it's a skip. Okay, I mean, it's not about the Spizikes, it's just this is an era where you could take the skips or whatever, it don't matter. I'm getting my bag, I'm having fun, it's a rave. Um, mm -hmm. I understand it for what it is. It's a skip. Moving forward, outfit number two. Bread 11 Walker. Talk to me. Let me know what's Soup. going on here. Talk to us. I'll do that let's, again. Let's go. Let's go. That's the yeah. energy right there. That's it's, the drip right there. Let's go! <laughs> you got these early from GB's? Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, Why now. you playing? That, that was in New York, and I really went to GB's that day. I never I not go it. to New York and not go to GB's. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Drip. Yeah, uh, this picture makes me happy. <laughs> That's Pixel. Not the only one with a Woody. Oh, God. Brendan. I mean, the sneakers with the suit is, is a hard thing to pull off, but the Jordan 11s is the one to do it with if you're going to do it. So I'm going to call it a drip. I'm not never gonna go against the gang, baby. I see Walker in the suit. I'm going drip. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Last but not least, <laughs> Yeezy Gang Walker. So the, uh, I see my brother Wu Kid. You said it's like the first day of school and everyone wears the same thing? Yep, Spider Man meme. <laughs> the raves, man, I'm telling you. We were surprised we had Yeezys on. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. People was, losing their pants. Yeah, Sitting on Moscato. Who can had the Yeezys before they even came out like two weeks prior? Got him at GB's? I don't know where he got Who is the only guy I know that Louis Vuitton give him a budget every month to spend? What? No, literally. Like, I, who can just get the. Legendary. Who can come on the show? Walker, what is this? A trip, a flip, a skip? This is uh, a flip. flip. I'm going to bundle all four pairs of those together, flip them on StockX, and get something I really want. Definitely. Brenda Dunn. I thought Welty was going to tell us what a flock of zebras was called. You don't know, Welty? You don't have the answer? Oh, What's God. It? I don't know. The, oh, wow. Well. <laughs> a flock of zebras? <laughs> a flock of zebras? <laughs> I'm a little let down. I'm a little let down. So I'm skipping. I'm skipping because Welty didn't didn't come through didn't when do I my research so, on that one. So Waka's life is based on Welty's mistakes? In a way. Wow. Just like how Jewel's life is based on my... It's all tied together. It's a I forgot. <laughs> I see the vibes. Um, Flat circle. 
it's full circle on that one. I see uh, the gang all rocking the same shoes and confident about it at the rave with Yeezys on. That's 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 craziness and confidence. That's a trip. That's a drip in the rain. <laughs> okay, at the rain, you're like, yo, yeah. you're wild. <laughs> Go ahead. Flocka, Go listen, before we get out of here for the day, for the episode, for the season, because this is our finale, we want to breeze through the comment section and see what people on YouTube have been saying about us, which is always a fun time. With we have one from Yo What's Up saying, this show is the only reason I follow what day of the week it is. I get that Soul Collector notification <laughs> every Thursday. Um, you should have a little more structure in your life, but we appreciate uh, the support. Ash Kick says, watching this show is a family affair when FSR comes on. Niece and nephew watch it with me and gain some great sneaker knowledge. Nah, we're for real. To, we're happy to help the family out. Russian Harrison says, damn. I've been watching this since the beginning and I just now subscribed. My bad, fellas. Harlem is in the building now, so you guys are lit. Hashtag telling a friend to tell a friend. Thank you, Russian, for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Flocka, thank you for being here for our season finale. I am your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James. Woo! No, no I'm Dr. James. We'll see you next season. Season 10, coming up soon. Mr. Play. She, she won every color, that's a full size. Buy a six for my kids, bought a seven for my chick. Guys, have you realized that we still don't have a million subscribers? It's ridiculous. Let's talk about it. FS Army, everybody that watches this show, get us to a million followers. What are we waiting for? Make us go platinum. And after you subscribe to the channel, make sure you download the Soul Collector app. That's important too. Go buy sneakers. Please. Platinum, 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 platinum.